in the last video we created a test route and there was a corresponding test view so that was kind of hello world for laravel in this video i am going to move further and start building the crud application so first of all i will open the terminal so in the terminal i am going to use laravel cli which is artisan so php artisan make and after the make uh, you have to just mention what you want to make so for now i want to make model so i will write model and after that the model name so for now i will use the product if you want to make model for something else you can use that name uh, there is some more thing like migration and control and you can make that also so i need all these three things model migration and controller in order to build a crud application so i will add the flag minus m and c but sometimes you will not need all these three things so you will just create one by one separately just remove the minus m and c so it will not create the migration and controller along with model you just name whatever you want to create so this command will create the controller only controller okay so this is how it works so laravel cli is very much powerful you can do lots of things and it is very much helpful okay so let's see what are the files uh, which has been created so first of all i will show you the migration file so this is the migration file here we write uh, what are the columns which we require in our database so it will help us in creating the tables uh, okay and you can write some uh, constraint also like primary or secondary key so this is the model so here is our model and after that there is a controller so here is our controller so we created three things so these are the three things and why do we need all these three things just to separate the things like the there will be model which will be doing something related to database there will be a uh, controller which will be doing all the business logics there will be view where we will be displaying everything there is a routes where we will uh, defining all the routes so here you can see that we are having two routes and there is two callback functions so whenever we are going to that route this callback function is being called so we cannot use callback function every time because sometimes there will be very long uh, business logic or uh, there are lots of things so we cannot write everything in callback so for that we are going to use controller so in the controller we will write the business logic and we will just call the controller in the routes um, file so basically whenever you will move to some route it will call the controller and here is our all the business logic so let's try so we are defining a function name index so this function is going to return a view and name index so as you know in the last video i told you that whenever you are defining a view here that must be present in resources directory so currently the index is not available but i will make it later so for now let's return a string but after in the next video i will create the view also like a html page for now i will just create a simple string uh, just to make sure that all the uh, route is calling the controller so there will be an index page a home page kind of thing after that there will be a read page where we will list all the things there will be a create page we will get a create form there will be a store page so whenever we will send some data uh, from create it will go to the store page there will be edit page which will open the edit page and there will be update so we will send the edited data to the update uh, controller and after that there will be delete page so all of these are returning a simple string uh, based on the function name so now let's move to the routes file so in the not routes file uh, let's move to the routes directory and open a web.php so these are the code here so let's remove the comment first so let's remove the test which we created in last video so let's start by creating one new route so route and whenever we will move to the slash i just want to call a um, controller uh, function so here you can see the there is a product controller and after that i will use the annotation at the rate and after that i will add the function name which is index and let's remove this now okay so we have um, like uh, created two route uh, first one is for slash second one is for slash create and we are calling corresponding uh, function from the corresponding controller so it's fine it's very simple so let's try this so first of all we will run this using uh, php artisan serve so it started okay and let's go to the slash and it is saying target class product controller does not exist but this code was working uh, earlier like uh, before version 8 but after version 8 it is not working and the reason is that earlier the controller were publicly available like you need not to define the namespace you can just use the controller name but now you need to define the uh, now you need to specify the namespace before using the controller 
so here i am specifying it like use app http controllers and uh, product controller okay and uh, let's see uh, what are the other things which has been changed uh, after this update so uh, we have two routes so i commented the first one so that you can compare so we just have to pass the array so we are passing array with the controller class and the uh, function name so which is index so this is something which has been changed so let's uh, create one more route for create so create and here we will just update this to the function name so not a very big change but somehow this is something which is crucial if you are having a very big application or giant application and if you want to move to the level eight so you need to take care of all these things okay so still this is not working i am getting some error let's see why i am getting that error so i am doing everything almost correct and i need to figure it out what is the mistake here and we are having product controller it's fine and uh, it's fine totally fine we are calling the uh, function it's fine uh, use app http controller it's fine the namespace is fine mm. I don't know what is the mistake let's see we will figure it out uh, controllers product controllers and let's restart the uh, server maybe it might fix no 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 uh, app HPP oh, oh sorry 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 it should be app HTTP not HPP it was wrong okay so now it's fine now we will go and yeah so when we go to the slash it is saying index page if we will go to the slash create create page yeah it's fine so we have created two route and it is being called and everything is good until this step so see you in the next video